Hi everyone, it's me, Diana, the Delve Fairy. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a showcase of the talent and creativity of some of the members of the Delve Fairy Patreon community. This past spring, I invited my patrons at the $3 Precocious Pixie level or above to join in a special collaboration where we create dolls based on a common theme. After a poll which included a few different options, we decided to do our collaboration based on obscure Disney characters. What do we mean by obscure exactly? Well, we defined obscure Disney characters as characters that are less popular and less well known. This could include side characters, maybe sidekicks, and characters from lesser known Disney properties that people might have forgotten about or that people might not be aware are owned by Disney. I also think that obscure Disney characters could include characters that might be important in their own movie or in their own TV show or whatever, whatever story they come from. They might be an important character. However, they're not included in much Disney marketing or merchandising. If you can't really find them today in the Disney store or in the Disney parks, then I think they fit the bill. I thought it would be so much fun to come up with unique and lesser known Disney characters. And we had a great time coming up with ideas and talking about our favorite obscure Disney characters that we didn't all remember or um, didn't even know that they were owned by Disney, etc. Today let's take a look at all the beautiful dolls that everyone created. And some of them might surprise you, or some of them might make you say, oh my gosh, I remember that. Let's start with Miss Spider. The 1996 film James and the Giant Peach, directed by Henry Selick, utilized a combination of live action and stop motion animation to tell the story of Roald Dahl's 1961 novel of the same name. Miss Spider is a kind and strong spider who becomes a mother figure to James in the movie. Alexis Mendoza created this doll inspired by Miss Spider, which truly captures the eerie elegance of this character. I love how her eyes are painted, as well as her outfit design. Just look at the corset with the ribbons and the spiderweb patterns on the skirt. Memoirs of Dreams made this doll based on the character Spinelli from Recess. Recess was an animated series produced by Walt Disney Television Animation, which aired from 1997 to 2001 on ABC's One Saturday Morning. Spinelli is a tomboy character and a best friend of TJ, the show's main protagonist. I think the doll is instantly recognizable as this character, who counts as obscure but is still a very well-loved character by many who grew up watching this show on Saturday mornings. If you grew up watching Playhouse Disney on the Disney Channel, you're probably familiar with the show Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, which premiered in 2006 and has had multiple spin-off shows since then. A delightfully obscure character who appears in this show is Quoodles, the cute feminine counterpart of Mickey's helper, Toodles. Pink Cosmo 101 created this adorable doll inspired by Quoodles, who occasionally shows up to assist Minnie Mouse on her adventures. Pink Cosmo 101 incorporated bright pastel colors in her Quoodles design, and of course her pink space buns with the little bows on either side of her head are a perfect callback to Quoodles' shape and connection to Minnie. The 2010 film Tron Legacy was a sequel to the original Tron film from 1982, with an important character being introduced called Quora. Quora, played by Olivia Wilde, is a computer program, the last of the isomorphic algorithms, better known as ISOs. Christina Sayer made this beautiful doll inspired by Quora, for which she used an LED Monster High doll as a base, painted on a sleek, glossy bodysuit, and hand-painted glowing lines along her body with glow-in-the-dark black light reactive paint. The result is this beautifully unique doll with a striking design that I must say I find quite an improvement on the original character design for Korra. The Legend of Sleepy Hollow is an animated adaptation of the classic story by Washington Irving, produced by Walt Disney in 1949 as part of the film The Adventures of Ichabod Crane and Mr. Toad. Regarded as the most beautiful person in the town of Sleepy Hollow, Katrina Van Tassel bears a striking resemblance to Disney's Cinderella. Magic Based took advantage of that fact by using a Disney Store Cinderella doll as the base for creating a doll inspired by the character of Katrina. This doll is wearing Katrina's pink dress that she wears on Halloween night, along with an adorable parasol and cute blue ribbons in her hair. Here she is next to Magic Based's rerouted Cinderella so you can see the resemblance. 
Emily McMillan created a doll inspired by an obscure character from the well-known animated feature Alice in Wonderland from 1951. Throughout the song Golden Afternoon, in which Alice is serenaded by a variety of beautiful flowers in the forest, a beautiful white rose has her own solo in a little glade surrounded by ethereal cobwebs and adorned with dewdrops. Emily McMillan incorporated these lovely details in her design for a doll based on the white rose. Her doll has a beautiful gown made of satin and tulle and embellished with flowers and crystal rhinestones that harken back to the dewdrops. I also really love her serene face up. This next one is a character I loved as a kid in the 90s. In an episode of the animated series, The New Adventures of Winnie the Pooh, which first aired in the late 1980s on the Disney Channel, a female bluebird named Kessie is introduced as a young chick who was lost in a snowstorm and taken in and raised by Rabbit. Since then, the character reappears in later episodes of the series and is featured as a main character in the Playhouse Disney series, The Book of Pooh. Emily Packard created a lovely and sweet doll inspired by Kessie, which I think really looks like the human version of this little bluebird. I love her adorable little wings, feather necklace, and the goggles on her head. Here she is with Emily's dolls of Pooh and Piglet too, and I just think this is so adorable. Bonkers was an animated American television series airing in 1993 and 1994, featuring an anthropomorphic bobcat named Bonkers, who has washed out of show business and has now become a police officer. Apparently, his character was inspired by that of Roger Rabbit. Kairiaka created this plush doll based on Bonkers, which is absolutely adorable and exceptionally well made, as you can see. This Bonkers was made in the style of Disney Nuimos, which are plush dolls with interchangeable clothing that originated in Japan. I think this was such a creative way to make a doll for the collab, and it was executed so well. This next one is a character that may be obscure in the sense that Disney tends to forget about her existence, but she is definitely a fan favorite anyway. Kida is from Disney's 2001 animated feature film, Atlantis The Lost Empire. Landy Monk created this doll inspired by Kida, using a moonlight jewel Lila as the base for the doll, and redesigning the character by imagining her as a Japanese idol. Landy Monk is really great at making models in Vroid, so she created the design in 3D before making the doll herself. I think she looks so incredibly unique, and her design is just full of cool details like the bright blue tattoos, painted embellishments on her dress, and tall ombre boots. Our next obscure character is not one character, but a group of five magical girls. Which, the title being an acronym of the five main characters' names, is an Italian fantasy comic series first released in 2001 and published by Disney Italia. When I was a teenager, I absolutely loved these comics and the animated series which aired on Jetix and Toon Disney. The main characters, Will, Irma, Tarani, Cornelia, and Hey Lynn, are granted the power to transform into Guardians of the Veil vale through the magic of an ancient amulet called the Heart of Kandrakar. Think You decided to create not one of these characters, or even two, but the entire team of five girls in their upgraded costumes from the new power arc. Each doll has a different doll base, most of them with different builds, which creates a diversity between them that is so accurate to the original artwork and designs of these characters. I am so in love with this set of dolls, seriously. Gargoyles is an animated TV series created for Walt Disney Television Animation, which aired from 1994 to 1997. The show features a species of nocturnal creatures known as gargoyles that turn to stone during the day. McKenna M. created a doll based on the character of Puck, a trickster and fey guardian. Though I've never really watched Gargoyles and wasn't familiar with this character, I can see that McKenna did a great job translating the character into a doll. I really love the outfit and especially those boots. Newton's Rainbow created a doll based on an obscure Disney princess. Princess Ailanwi is a character from Disney's 1985 animated film The Black Cauldron. Although in the film she is a rather spirited young woman, 
Newton's Rainbow decided to reimagine her as the hero of the story, rather than a love interest or a sidekick to the protagonist. This version of Ailan Wee is recognizable as the character, with her signature blonde hair and an outfit that's very similar, but instead of a dress, she wears a warrior's outfit and carries a sword so that she's ready to rescue herself. I think this was such a cool way to reinterpret her character, and I love the way that her outfit is similar to her design in the film, but also something new at the same time. Plus, that sword looks amazing. The 1995 movie Toy Story is anything but obscure, especially in my family where we literally spout random Toy Story quotes on a daily basis. But this movie has such a huge cast of lovable characters that it's easy to forget some from time to time. An important side character in Toy Story, Bo Peep only appeared briefly in the beginning and the end of the sequel film, and in Toy Story 3 is completely absent from the cast, having been lost to yard sales and spring cleanings. Toy Story 4 changes her obscurity by bringing this character back as a main character, but I'm willing to say that the Toy Story version of Bo Peep is a bit obscure. Tim Hinder made this adorable doll of Bo Peep in her original look, using a Tangled the Series doll as a base for Bo, which is a style of doll that works so well for this character. Her bonnet and polka dot dress are so cute, and I love the lace details on the bodice. Witchy Kitty Arts created a doll of a character from Treasure Planet, a Disney animated film released in 2002, which is loosely based on the story of Treasure Island, but in space, basically. A major character in the film is Captain Amelia of the RLS Legacy. She is an alien of a species that appears to have feline characteristics. She has a very elegant design, and Witchy Kitty Arts has done a phenomenal job making her into a doll. She has her facial expression just right, capturing her personality, and gave her the feline ears, and her outfit is incredibly accurate. Robin Hood is an animated film from 1973, which was the first feature produced by Walt Disney Productions to begin production after Walt Disney's death. It is inspired by the classic tale of Robin Hood, but all of the principal characters are represented by anthropomorphized animals. Robin Hood and his love interest, Maid Marian, are foxes. Inali Creations made a doll inspired by Maid Marian, but took it a step further by interpreting the character's design in a different time period. Since the movie was released in 1973, this Maid Marian's outfit is inspired by 1970s fashion. Thank you so much to all of my patrons for their support, and also to those patrons who participated in this collaboration. I seriously had so much fun seeing your works in progress photos that we shared in our special Facebook group, and I loved talking about obscure Disney characters with all of you, and even learning about some characters that I didn't know about before. If you're interested in joining Patreon and being a part of the exclusive collaborations like this one, check out the link to the Doll Fairy Patreon in the description below. And thank you to you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing all of these amazing dolls as much as I did. It's one of my favorite things in the world to be able to encourage people to be creative and to showcase their creativity to the rest of the world. I think that's an awesome thing and that's why I love doing collaborations and contests like this one. If you liked what you saw, be sure to check out the artists who made these dolls. I've listed all of their names and some of their links in the description below. That's all for today. I'll see you all again very soon for more doll magic. Bye!